two minutes, Tuesday. Now I've been looking at replacement tires for my Tiger for quite some time. The stock Bridgestones that came on it are starting to square off after about six and a half thousand miles. Unfortunately, the rear tire had an argument with a wood screw and lost, and that meant I had to put tires on a little bit sooner than I was expecting. The front runners were for a while the new Continental TKC 70 rocks. But seeing as I'd planned for 2020 to be doing some more touring, and sadly I think we know how that's going to pan out for the summer, I thought I'd go for something that was more road focused. I would put these in the 90-10 category and that 10% of off-road ability I think is pretty much limited to uh, gravel paths, fire roads and hard packed trails. These have now done about 500 miles, so this is just an initial impression, but there are some key manufacturing details that I wanted to cover. Let's start with the traction skin. This is a micro rough tread surface which Continental claim virtually eliminates the scrubbing in period. Does it work? Oh, tell us! Oh, tell us! Yes, it does. There is virtually no scrubbing in. The day I picked this up from having the tyres fitted, it was absolutely pouring down with rain. And as you know, brand new tyres on wet roads in a town centre means you're gonna to have to be very careful. But these tires just feel like normal running tires and I had no issues. I got home nice and safely with no dramas whatsoever. Part of that is down to the rain grip compound as well. So Continental put extra silica in the construction of these tires to give better grip in the wet. This is a single compound tire but they do use a different temperature during the curing process so that the outside and the shoulders are softer and grippier. The inside is designed to be more hard wearing over the longer period. Now, obviously I can't give any comment on the longevity of the tires at all, but I can say that the grip from these tires is very good in the wet. So how does this tech speak translate into the real world? Well, the tires have proved to be very stable across many different conditions. I've ridden them in the wet, in temperatures as low as two degrees C, as well as on relatively warm dry roads, and they have performed superbly. Grip in all conditions has been excellent, and the tires warm up very, very quickly. They offer fantastic feel and feedback, but it took a few miles to adjust to how quickly the front tire turned in compared to the Bridgestones. The bike does actually feel a little bit more nimble now. I've not really ventured too far off road as it's just been so wet here in the UK, but on the occasions I did touch some mud, it was obvious that's where these tires fall down. Dry gravel or dusty tracks are no problem, but if you're faced with a muddy trail, prepare to have some problems. But that's not what these tyres are about. They are designed to offer confidence-inspiring tarmac grip in all conditions and still allow you a little bit of off-roading. So far, I've found them to fulfil this brief excellently, particularly on the country back roads that I like to ride. The aim is to bring you another update once I've got some more mileage on them, but given the current circumstances, who knows when that will be. But the first impressions of these Trailer Tech 3s are very good indeed.